for help is dire. Dozens of Ohio National Guard members are getting ready to head down and help out. 40 members will leave tomorrow with a plane full of supplies and technology to help rebuild communications down there in Puerto Rico. There are already 200 Guard members there and the U.S. Virgin Islands helping out in cleanup and recovery efforts. Restoring lives as desperate souls search for help. They survived Hurricane Maria, but now they're making Cleveland their home. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley explains the trouble that followed them from the island to Northeast Ohio. Well, Danita, some lost everything. They've come here and there's a language barrier. You involve families and problems grow. Destruction stretches far and wide. Hurricane Maria carved a path that left Puerto Rico crippled. Some survivors limped away. But still have so far to go. We already got a call that the two other families are coming next week. Home becomes a foreign land. I'm planning to stay. The Spanish American Committee does what it can. They don't want to stay there in those conditions. Some didn't have a choice. Her specialist said that it was more important for her to take the medicine than for her to actually eat food. Keishela Marichal told us they lost everything. Food, water, electricity. Four-year-old daughter, Kanesha, is sick. With the medicine, it needed to be in the refrigerator, and uh, we had no, no refrigerator to put her medicine. She has a heart condition. I got involved because I'm Puerto Rican. And, and she saw herself in this family. Many years ago, when I was younger, they, were, they helped me out, so now I'm paying it forward. Elizabeth Crespo showed up at Volunteer Services' door and offered to open hers. The rehabbed homes she owns are a perfect fit. There's going to be a lot more refugees coming in. I'm, in, I'm doing my best to accommodate as many as possible. Reaching beyond borders to help folks get back on their feet. And that family will have help for the next two months with free housing. They'll also receive free food as well as medical care. For now, we are live in Cleveland. Frank Wiley, News 5.